Yo, today I'm gonna to show you a few crankbaits that you need to have in your tackle box if you're planning to catch fish this winter. Hey, let's go over here into my little corner here. This is my little secret corner that I keep a lot of my crankbaits. And I'm gonna show you four crankbaits that I really like that I've grown to love right here. Oh God, I just threw one on the floor. But there's three, one, two, three. Yeah, there's four. Four of the crankbaits from Carl's that I've really grown to like. I'm gonna just talk about them, show them, show them to you, see what you think. So here they are. I've got four crankbaits. This is the shiver crank. This is one of the ones that I really like. <clears throat> this is the baby boy. You know I've caught a lot of fish on the golden boy. I've done some videos on this. This is the baby boy. This is one that I got to show you. This is super technique specific and super situational, but when this guy's on, it's one of the baddest crankbaits out there. And <clears throat> if you need to get a little bit deeper, you're looking for something to get down there, that six foot range, eight foot range, check out the shimmy shake. We'll talk about that one a little bit and of course that two to four foot range that's just always good for cranking and we're going to talk about the wedge a little bit today too so right off the bat i'm sure you noticed that every single crankbait that i picked up was chartreuse i just like chartreuse i don't get too particular about colors i use chartreuse i use crawdads and i use shad patterns you can get all fancy if you want to but remember your colors most of the time are for you most of the time color does matter fish do see color and there's times where color matters a lot but for the most part when i'm cranking i'm cranking in dark water situations when there's dark water there's low light and color doesn't matter as much when i'm in clear water that's when i start to become a lot more particular about colors but in this situation, with my region of the country, we typically get a lot of rainfall this time of year. We get a lot of rainfall, dark water. Dark water means no light. And when you have no light, color is not as important because fish can't pick up the color. They're simply finding your bait off of motion and sound. Remember that. All right, so the first one I'm gonna talk about right here is the little baby boy. This is one of my favorite guys. What I like about it, the baby boy, is the name is implies exactly what you're getting here. You see, this is a small frame bad sucker right here. It's a little smaller than your traditional square bill, um, but it is still a square bill that gets in that two to four foot range, which is a really important depth range for this time of the year. But what I like about it is this smaller profile. Usually crankbaits that get in that two to four foot range are a little bit bigger. In the winter time, obviously, a fish's metabolism is going to be a lot lower. They're going to be probably feeding on smaller, uh, smaller shad, smaller sized crawdads. Everything they're going to eat is probably going to be smaller. And quite honestly, when you live in the Tennessee, South Carolina, Georgia area, everybody's throwing crankbaits, and they've seen so much during the year. Well, <clears throat> this little guy's more of a finesse crankbait. This is something you're going to throw on eight. 10 pound test line you can throw it on a bait caster but i think you're much more efficient with throwing it on a piece of spinning equipment so the fact that it is a square bill crankbait lets this bait deflect off of structure really really well it has a super tight wiggle which a lot of times is really good this time of the year there are times where i like a wide wobble this time of the year we'll talk about that later with one of the other crankbaits but it's a great crankbait when you're in high pressure situations fish have seen a lot of crankbaits the baby boy really tends to excel when it's cold fish are feeding on a lot smaller shad this time of the year slow your retrieve down this is a small crankbait so don't come blowing through with a 751 or 801 gear ratio reel slow your retrieve use your 681 651s those slower gear ratio reels crawl that bait over rocks crawl it over lay down slow down take your time do what i call count your rocks and the baby boy will catch you some fish in the winter time when no other bait will so there's always this common misconception that for some reason you can't catch fish on wide wobble crankbaits during the winter time or when temperature water temperature is in the 40s it's all a myth it's a lie that is not true this type of year typically especially right now it is raining it has been raining for three days and i can guarantee you all the lakes in my area are probably flowing chocolate mud that doesn't mean you can't catch fish just because it's muddy. You just got to use the right equipment and you got to fish in the right areas. Typically that time of the year when it starts, when it's cold waters in the, the upper 40s and 50s, and the fish are going to move as shallow as, as they can go. 
They can't see, they've got to be next to something. Stumps, rocks, laydowns, docks, seawalls, they're always going to be beside something. And secondly, they're always going to go as shallow as they can go. There's no need to be worried about fish that are in that seven, eight foot range at this time of the year. For a couple reasons, there's no light, the water's muddy, they can't see anything. They're going to go somewhere where they can use less energy to feed. That's going to be shallow water. They can corner their prey much better in shallow water. Think about it. If you wanted to body slam somebody in your house, you would want to body slam them in the smallest room possible. If you took them into the biggest room in your house, you'd have to chase them down to get them, right? Well, when it's dark, you need to be able to kind of corner that person to body slam them. That's what, that's in my mind, that's what I see fish doing in my crankbait in the wintertime is body slamming my crankbait. So they're going to get shallow. They're going to get next to something. They're going to get somewhere where they can jump out, say boo, and scare that prey. Well, the crankbait for that, I think, is the wedge. And let's talk about why I think it's good for muddy water situations where you're fishing in that two to foot, two to four foot range. So, the wedge, here it is right here. This is, uh, number one, one of the main reasons that this is a great paint crankbait for muddy water, listen to it. Noise, how are fish are gonna find your bait when it's muddy, they can't see it. If you don't believe me, take a GoPro, put a waterproof case on it, stick it down in the water and tell me how much you can see when the visibility is six inches or less. You can't see anything and a bass is the same way. You know the bass's anatomy. He's got lateral lines on his side. They pick up sound and vibration. So if you know that, get a crankbait that has sound and get a crankbait that throws off more vibration. The wedge is that crankbait. It has a wide wobble, lot of water displacement. It lets a bass hone in on that structure. And that wide wobble lets it deflect off for structure. It, obviously, if you're fishing in two, four foot range, you're gonna have a lot of rocks, you're gonna have a lot of hangs, so you need something that deflects off structure really good. So the wedge is a great crankbait for that. It has all the attributes that you need for muddy water and cold water to let a bass find your bait, number one, and to be able to efficiently and effectively fish it around structure. The wedge is that crankbait for you. It's got the sound, it's got the vibration. Now, as we start to work into some of the deeper zones, that six, seven, eight foot range, you're gonna get into a different range of crankbaits. This particular crankbait right here is called the Shimmy Shake. Now, what I like about this crankbait is it's gonna get in that five to eight foot range but unlike a lot of crankbaits, you don't find this profile, that size profile, which is a little bit smaller profile that gets in that depth range. It gets down there about eight foot. You notice this is one of my favorite colors, black and chartreuse here. And it does come stock with a little, um, a hand tied bucktail trailer, a feathered trailer, a uh, feathered hook on the back. I actually like to change that guy out and just throw it like a traditional crankbait. What this is going to do is actually keep the bait up. It's not going to dive quite as deep with the feather on the back of it. And um, I just like a traditional crankbait. So I do like to take that off of there, but that is a cool way to have something that's a little bit different in this crankbait. But it gets five to eight foot range and it's great for cranking around. Deeper rip wrap. If you're fishing in a clearer body of water, the fish are going to be a little bit deeper and uh, that's a good crankbait to use for it. All right, last but not least, this is the Shiver Crank. Now, this crankbait is again, one of those crankbaits that gets in that five to eight foot range, but what's unique about this one is it's flat sided, okay? So why do you wanna use a flat sided as opposed to the traditional style crankbaits? Flat sided has more flash, broader side, it cuts the water just a little differently than a round-sided crankbait. It, it has a little bit more displacement. This particular bait, it doesn't have as a really loud high pitch rattle like the wedge, but it does have a weight transfer in there that does contribute to some sound there. And it has just a little bit of different vibration. The thing I like about this bait is the lip on it. You see it has a really long, it's not a square lip, but it does have a lip that does deflect off of wood and rocks really well. So the Shiver Crank, when you wanna get in five to eight foot range and you need a flat sided bait, something with a little bit different action to it. The, the profile of the bait not only makes the bait look different, makes it look bigger, makes it look smaller, but the profile, 
a flat side versus a round side crankbait has a different action and has different dis water displacement factors to it. So some days they want a round one because it has a tighter wobble. Some days they want a flat sided because it has it cuts the water different and has more flash with a broader side, which is the whole purpose of throwing a flat side crankbait. So this little guy right here is one you gotta have in your arsenal because it's different. Sometimes the difference in the profile makes all the difference and you're getting bit when it comes to crankbaits. Remember, color matters, sound, vibration matters, profile matters. Everything matters when you're talking about using crankbaits.